Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. Let's troubleshoot the laptop together in this video. I have the HP laptop, and the computer is not turning on. So when you press the power button, there's no light, the fan doesn't spin, no LCD, nothing shows on the display. So this is the only indication I have is the charging color, the, the, the amber light color. So uh, get your charger, plug it in, and all I see is just amber light comes on, goes off. On, off. And that is the only signal I get coming from the laptop. So when I try to turn it on, press the power button, there's no display on the screen. You don't hear the fan spin. No like on a caps lock. No like on a NAM lock. And the power doesn't even power up. So what I'm going to do is I'll try my best to troubleshoot the problem. And before I do that, I just think that the computer has a bad motherboard. And the only troubleshoot I can do is probably remove the battery and do a direct connection from the power to the motherboard and hopefully bypass the battery might be the cause of the of the issue and if and if, and if that doesn't work then at least we get to remove the hard drive and extract the data and transfer it to an external drive or your, your, your new computer so at least this video would help you to try to get the information out of your laptop if it doesn't work um, but we are not going to repair the motherboard or we are not going to exchange the motherboard. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. Oh, before I do that, let me identify the model for you here. So at least you know we are talking the same model here. And this is HP 15 E F, I believe. I can't really see it. So HP 15 E F 1044NR. Uh, serial number, I tried to look it up to match the model number. I believe that is the, the number I'm reading off. E F 1044NR. Okay, so remove the two screws on the side. The next step is get yourself a metal prying tool. We need to pry open this plastic. The plastic stopper is covering up the screws here underneath. And let's see if there's any here at the bottom. You have three at the bottom as well. So let's remove all the screws. Okay, once you have removed all the screws, the next step we try to separate the armrests and the back cover. So I'm trying to go underneath, get your metal prying tool, go underneath and separate them a little bit. Get yourself a plastic prying tool. Just work your way around it slowly. And now you can just pry open the, the back cover. Once you have removed the back cover, you get to see your entire laptop here. So let me quickly do a walkthrough for you. This is your DDR4 RAM. You have two RAM slot, first and second. This here, you can add additional RAM if you like. You can go with 8 and 8. 
that would be 16 gigs total. This is your CPU underneath the heatsink, and this heatsink runs along to your right, and where the CPU, CPU fan is blowing the hot air away from the laptop. So it's exhaust the heat away from the laptop by spinning the CPU fan here. This is your data um, M.2 drive. It has all your information here with the windows, your data, like your pictures, music, document, everything is stored in this M.2 drive. This is your battery here. And the battery replacement model is HT03XL. Let's go ahead and remove the battery. Once you have removed all the screws, you can just lift up the battery and the entire battery can just be removed like that. If you notice your battery is not holding the charge or your battery has a lump or swollen, so this is very flat, you don't see any lump or swollen on the battery, that means the condition on the battery is still good. But if yours is lumpy or swollen, I recommend to do a replacement immediately. If you're not sure where to buy the battery, I will link them in the description below. You're probably going to get it from either eBay or Amazon. And look up for the model number here. Okay, so back to the problem, troubleshooting the laptop. So we know that the DC jack is connected properly, running through along and connected to the motherboard. So let's try to power up the computer and see what happened with the adapter being plugged in. Okay, so let's plug in the adapter. We do see the white light is on instead of the amber light. And let's press the power button. And nothing happens. I don't see the fan, the fan doesn't spin. And right now the white light, instead of the amber light, it is flashing white light. It's the same problem, the same flashing code because it doesn't have the battery. Therefore, it is not showing the orange light. Okay. So it's the same problem. It's not turning on. And let's try to do one thing is to remove the RAM. I just slide open the RAM here. Let me get a replacement RAM. Here I have the DDR4 replacement RAM. How do I know? It says PC4. That stands for DDR4. So move the old RAM on the side. We'll try using the second slot. Slide it in a 45 degree angle and push it down. You can hear the clip that clips onto it. Let's redo it again. Put in the charger. We see the white light is on. It should stays on. It is not staying on. So you flash. It stays on, goes away, stays on and goes away. I don't think it's going to power up at all. Yeah, it is not powering on. The fan is not spinning, nothing happens. So in other words, it looks like it is a bad motherboard to me. Um, again, like I said, I am not going to do a motherboard repair in this video or motherboard replacement in this video. Um, it just feel like it might not be worth it if you ask me because the HP laptop is not that expensive. However, if you can find a replacement motherboard for that price, great. You can just change it out. Hopefully, this video will, would be able to help you to do that. Now, the important thing I'm pretty sure you're curious to know is, what if my laptop died and I need my information? How can I get my information? Now, here is all your information here. So, what you want to do is remove the screw. Once you remove the screw, slide the... Um, 
your hard drive, the M.2, on the side, and then you can buy one of those um, USB M.2 reader, and you can just insert here and plug it to a different computer, and you can recover your information. So pretty much this adapter here acts act like a, a flash drive, like a USB thumb drive. Once you plug in your hard drive, make sure the hard drive is not facing at 45 de degree angle. I use the tape to tape it down. Make sure the thing is flat like this. Okay, make sure the hard drive is flat, aligned, and then you plug it into a different computer to recover your information. All right, so um, it is not end of the day. I mean, if the laptop is dead, it's not working. Um, Hopefully, you can still get your information and you can just move on with the new laptop. If you're not sure where to buy um, this kind of stuff, uh, check the description below. I'll link them for you and it will direct you to Amazon for the uh, purchase. All right. Um, that's all I have for you. I apologize. It looks like a bad news. The motherboard as I was predicted. I don't see any water damage or anything. Um, but however... Uh, the battery is not doing anything by removing it the computer still doesn't want to turn on so um, bad motherboard that's my assumption and um, hopefully the video helps and again if you find the video helpful please smash the like button give me a like i really appreciate it for doing that if you haven't subscribed feel free to subscribe um, it is free to subscribe it doesn't cost you anything hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and comment below I do reach a comment and if you have any question regarding about computer stuff, uh, just comment below and I'll try to answer those questions. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye now.